for most people, you know, a tree house is a sentimental kind of a structure. You know, there are people that, you know, I talk with all the time about you know, their dreams of creating a tree house. And I think it's rooted in this idea that, you know, when they were kids, they had this dream and maybe that dream came true in a small way, but maybe not at all. And they want to finally see it happen. And, and um, I, I, I do love the, the fact, and it's been proven again and again that these structures as we build them for people now, um, they're all about disconnecting from their busy lives. And I just love that fact that, that they're meant to be places to just disconnect and, and maybe reconnect with your loved one or, or heck yourself if you need to. <laughs> I often get the question, you know, what is it about tree houses? In my experience, there's so much excitement around it, you know, the new the new ways of thinking about architecture and, and connecting to living trees. So the treehouse thing started actually on, uh, on the other side of I-25 from Colorado College. I, I convinced my dad to buy this house with me. Right up the road, you know, two houses away, there was this beautiful, quintessential kid's tree house. Mm -hmm. I mean, it had it was so cool. corrugated metal siding and he had, had these sort pulleys of and things pulleys like and lanterns and uh -huh. little half timbers to trim around the old windows, you know, true divided light windows. And it just looked picture perfect. And, and I remember, you know, at the time I was thinking that, what, what am I going to do with myself? I know I, I love building. And I remember very clearly, I called it my all night brainer that, oh my gosh, there needs to be a treehouse book, a book about treehouses. And then, you know, I carried that forward and thought, well, wait a minute, you know, here I love creating, building, I, I'm already into this carpentry thing, and what if this country could use a, a real specialized treehouse builder? It was kind of crazy, and I think, I think generally most people dismissed it as a crazy idea, but I had in my head right then that all-night brainer. When I woke up, I was gonna be the treehouse guy out there, I have something to say. We built a simple little round shingle treehouse for the centerpiece of the book and it was the time of my life. I loved it. Oh, we just had one of the greatest experiences and it was then in 1992 that I thought, I don't know how we're going to do this. But we have to do yeah, it. I, yeah, but we got to do it. I can just see it. We can, we can create these things, use our brains and creativity and, and, and have these experiences that you know, bring people together. You know, that was the other thing. I mean, we'll get, we're getting into the woods, which is one of the great things to do. And then you're also getting to know the people around you in a, in a better way as you work together. And, and I think the combination of those two things really, you know, cemented the idea that I've got to figure out a way to do this full time. So the book was published in 94, and it yeah. got a lot of publicity, yeah. and it was a hit. It, we got in the New York Times Magazine and yeah. Smithsonian, yeah. and so people started calling us, you know, calling the landline and saying, uh -huh. I want, can you build me a treehouse? And I think that's where it really yeah. got rolling. We came upon this piece of property that we're on right now, which is yeah. now called Treehouse Point. Yeah. And it had no tree houses. It was uh, a piece of property just under four acres mm -hmm. and with a house on it, and which we're in right now. Yeah. And uh, Pete saw it. He stopped by and walked and saw the amazing trees and had this vision and came home and told me about it. And we both looked at it and said, Oh my gosh, just, let's do it. Let's build a couple tree yeah. houses. And then uh, fast forward to now, which we have six tree houses and soon to be uh, seven. Soon to be seven. Mm -hmm. And um, it's thriving and people love it. And it's a real joy to be able to have people stay. And it's kind of our little diamond. Um, while we still build tree houses all over the world, um, we have this little gem to, to kind of hone and work on and show off too. <laughs>